What you guys got another video here for you. If you're booting up your computer and you're getting CPU fan speed detection error on the screen and it's stopping the PC from booting, then this video is for you. Now, the CPU fan detection error typically means the motherboard isn't detecting a fan on the CPU fan header. Even if the fan is working correctly, this often happens when you have an all-in-one liquid cooler installed on the system where the pump is plugged into the all-in-one uh, pump header on the motherboard. To fix this, you can enter the BIOS, which I'll show you later, and how to change some of these settings so you can set it to ignore. But you have to be careful because there's other reasons why you might want to uh, take a look at some of the uh, configuration inside of the PC in case you're using an air cooler or something like that. So let me show you uh, some of the common causes here so you can understand why you're seeing this particular error message on the screen if you've just built your brand new computer. So looking inside the computer case right here, you can see the CPU fan header is on the right hand side and it's not populated. On the left hand side, you can see that little cable going there to the all-in-one underscore pump header on the motherboard. And if you're using an all-in-one liquid cooler, the all-in-one uh, pump header needs to be populated to power the pump on that all-in-one liquid cooler. Now, of course, if you are using a CPU fan cooler, i.e. an air cooler, then it's going to be incorrect. This is the manual of that liquid cooler here. You can see on the left-hand side, that's the configuration I have on my setup. And there's a slightly different configuration on the right. Just depends on which one you're using. But on the left is the one I'm using. And you can see it's telling me to populate that little cable to the all-in-one pump header on the motherboard. That means the CPU fan header is not being used. And of course, the motherboard has detected that you don't have a CPU fan header plugged in onto that motherboard. And it thinks the system is going to overheat. So this is why you're seeing this error code here. So you'd have to push F1 to go into the BIOS to ignore this because we do know that the configuration is correct. And if you don't want to keep seeing this particular error and you want to be able to boot to the desktop, then you're going to have to go into the BIOS and disable uh, the CPU fan speed uh, on that system. And this will tell it to ignore uh, the actual error code that you're getting on the screen. Now, if you are using a air cooler, then the incorrect connection is being made. Basically, a standard CPU fan is plugged into the wrong header on the motherboard if you're using a air cooler, such as your CPU fan should go to the CPU fan header and not the all-in-one pump header on the motherboard. In that case, this error code is warning you that you have it on the wrong header header on the board and you can change it but we do have a liquid cooler so we're going to go into the bios by typing f1 on the keyboard and we once we're inside here this is our bios uh, for our machine yours might look slightly different so we're going to go to advanced options right here and then we're going to go straight up to the top where it says monitor inside here we can see there is a fan speed monitor and that is where you need to look you can see now we have cpu fan speed right there and we want to change this to ignore to ignore the error code on the screen so we can go straight to the desktop because we have an all-in-one pump which is working perfectly fine so we can now click ok press f10 and click ok and now the system will boot straight to the desktop and ignore that error code so basically if you're using an all-in-one liquid cooler like this on an asus motherboard then you will see this error code coming up and you will need to deal with it Otherwise, you're not going to be able to boot the system. And again, this can catch people out a little bit. Now, there is no problem with the computer, and I'll show you that in a second, because once we've changed this, we can take a look right here at the temperatures on our system, and we can test to see whether everything is working okay. The temperatures on here are 38 Celsius, which is perfectly fine, which means we haven't got it plugged into the wrong header on the board. Everything is working the way it should be if you are using an all-in-one cooler. We can quickly do a stress test on the CPU here, and I'll show you exactly what the temps go to. So you can see we're getting 60 odd Celsius here, which is perfectly fine. It's functioning perfectly normal the way it should. Another thing you can do in H264 
uh, W Info software is to check to make sure all of the other uh, connections are working correctly, i.e. the pump and things like that. So all you need to do here is come down and we are stress testing here. If we was having issues, it would go straight into the red because obviously the CPU would be overheating. And that uh, is a precaution there to make sure that you're not using the wrong header on the board and you're getting proper uh, cooling to your CPU. So it's always good to check to make sure everything is functioning properly. Let me quickly stop the uh, stress test here and we're going to go down to the pump section right here. I want to show you down the bottom here. Uh, we're not getting any thermal throttling as you would expect here on this new system, but I want to come down to the very bottom and show you exactly the area where it says pump and also other settings for the water cooler. You can see the chassis fans are spinning here. The all-in-one pump is per working perfectly fine. We're getting 3,349 revs per minute that tells me that the pump is pushing liquid around the cooling system around into the into the actual uh, pump header and then going right away through the tubes and into the radiator to cool the cpu down so we know it's exactly the way it should be and of course we're having perfectly good temperatures on the cpu so we know the pump is working correctly and the setup is working right so things to remember, if you are using an all-in-one liquid cooler and you've got it set up the way I showed you right here, everything should function the way it should. And that error code is perfectly normal and you can disable it by putting ignore in the uh, BIOS. If you are using an air cooler, you've probably got the header on the wrong one. You've probably got it onto the all-in-one uh, liquid cooler pump header on the board instead of having it on the CPU underscore fan header on the board and you need to change it over. And that's pretty much it. So that's basically how you can solve this quick problem here on a, a PC. Uh, again, they are there to protect your system to stop you from messing it up. So if you do see that error, always check with caution just to make sure you have got it set properly to make sure you are cooling your CPU properly. So if you're first time building computers and you see this error code, and you may be thinking that you set up your system wrong, then you're perfectly fine. It's okay if you're using an all-in-one liquid cooler on your computer and you've got it set up to the pump header on the board. Everything should be for perfectly fine. Just make sure the pump is working properly and you are getting liquid pumped around from the pump itself to the radiator and back down again into the pump. Just make sure everything is working correctly on that system. If you are using an air cooler, on the other hand, and you've got the CPU fan for your cooler plugged into the all-in-one underscore pump header on the board, then obviously it will still spin the fan up, but you will see that error code, and you may be wondering what's going on. It just means you don't have the cable plugged into the correct header on the board for an air cooler. Anyway, but that said, my name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout-out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.